Today I'm going to show you how you can get unlimited synthesized premium ammunition for your railguns and your plasma accelerators. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Dangerous with Down to Earth Astronomy. Today I'm going to show you a little neat trick that's going to allow you to get an pretty much infinite amount of um, of ammo and synthesized premium ammo for your plasma accelerators and your railguns. Now, if you don't know what that is, if you go to your inventory, go down to synthesize, you can synthesize, you can like produce, make ammo for your weapons. And you can also do other stuff like, uh, like repair SRVs and refuel them and all kinds of crazy stuff. But basically, if you go in here, each weapon can have uh, three different types of ammo. That's the basic, which is the stuff you would normally uh, be firing. This is the standard ammo, which gives you a 30, sorry, 15 percent damage boost, uh, boost, and then there's the premium ammo, which gives you a 30 percent damage boost. Now, when you do that, it restocks a whole magazine. That means all the all the stored ammo and the magazine that you have um, loaded in the gun, and all that ammo will benefit from the effect. Um, but once you run out of ammo, or once you go back to a station to restock, and you restock your ammo, the effect is removed. So this is only temporary. But there are ways around this. Now, for plasma accelerators and for railguns, you can get a special effect on your engineering modifications. If you engineer your gun, you can get a special effect called plasma slug. I'm going to go in here and show it to you. Go in here, go to modifications. You can see here, I've gone here with focused weapons. That's the, engineer, that's the modification I've done. And... You can go with anything here, effective, long range, uh, sturdy, overcharged, whatever you feel like. I got more focused, but do whatever you like. The important part is that your secondary effect or your experimental effect is plasma slug. What this does is it allows you, it allows you to use your fuel instead of the normal ammo for your weapons. So instead of actually having ammo stored in your ship, you just take from your fuel tank and use that fuel. Um, to fire through your weapons. That will, of course, use a little bit of your fuel, but it's so little, you're probably not going to notice this on a, normal, not on a normal game session. Now, this has a drawback. It reduces the damage by um, by 25... 20%, uh, sorry. So you get a 20% reduced damage. But um, remember that when we use the premium ammo, you're going to get a 30% get a, get a increased damage. It's not going to give you then a 10% increase in damage, which would be nice, because I think it's you're getting 30% on top of the 80% that's left. But it's still going to give you an increase of 4% to your total damage for free. So you're not going to get the full 30%, but you are going to get... Um, but you are going to get the infinite ammo. So, basically, what you do is, of course, you get your plasma accelerators or your railguns and you engineer them you get the plasma slug on you go in and you synthesize ammo once you've done that you should see in here that they have these blue arrows that indicates that they have the synthesized effect on them but also see out here that my plasma accelerator has it says five slash dash now the five means that there are five rounds loaded into the gun right now the dash means i have basically infinite amount of ammo in storage because I take it from a fuel tank. If we go down here to my multi cannons instead, you can see here I have 175 units of ammo uh, reloaded into the gun and I have just over 3000 ammo in storage. Now, normally if I only used, if I synthesized on my multi cannons, I used half the ammo in my storage or just used any ammo and went over here to uh, the main screen and I went restock here, it would remove the effect. But it only removed the effect for the weapons that are that you are actually recharging. And to prove that to you, I'm just going to go here. We're going to go outside the station. We're going to try to fire up some weapons and uh, play around for a bit. And, uh, and then we're going to come back and we're going to try and refuel and repair or, or at least refuel and restock. And, and you can see that you're actually going to keep the effect. And what's something you need to be uh, careful of because you can actually by accident lose the effect and you will have to resynthesize uh, some ammo. But I'm going to take the ship. We're gonna fly outside the station, get outside the no-fire zone, and um, and then we're gonna try to fire off some weapons. Okay, we outside the station, and um, let's start off by just firing off some ammo here on the multi cannons. We can also fire off our plasma accelerators. We're gonna put more pips into weapons, so we actually have some power draw here. We're just gonna keep fire off uh, the weapons. It's not very heat efficient this build though, but that's okay. Oh, only one fight there. There we go. And now they're out of sync. That's great. Anyway, just to first to show you that this effect is not only on a single clip 
of the gun. I'm just gonna empty my uh, my plasma accelerators here. I'm just, just gonna use up a clip here and the multi cannons, so we're sure that those are have used up some ammo as well. So we have something to restock. There we go. They're now reloading. We can see here the plasma accelerators have reloaded. We still have the effect. Now. What's important is when you go back to the station to restock on ammo that your plasma accelerators are fully loaded. They need to have five clips in your magazine. Now, if you're using rail guns, they only have one shot in the magazine. So that's not going to be a problem for you because they will always be fully loaded. Um, so, but for plasma accelerators, you need to make sure that they are fully, um, fully loaded with, um, with ammo before you go in. And just to to show you what happens if you do it wrong, I split this up into two and we're just gonna fire off one of them. There you go. So now we have one here that's fully loaded and we have one that's not. So let's go back to uh, to the station and uh, and let's try to, uh, to restock on ammo and let's see what happens. There we go. We are now back at the station. And as you can see here, we still have the same situation as before. One, slot, one shot left from one of the PAs and we still use some of the ammo on our multi cannons. So the first we're going to do is we're going to refuel and we're just going to confirm that that did absolutely nothing to us at the side effect. We still see the blue arrows out here indicating that these guns are affected by the, uh, the effect. We can repair. That shouldn't have any effect either. There we go. Now when I restock ammo, I'm expecting this plasma accelerator to be restocked. They might switch their order in the, in the line here, but I would expect one of them to be restocked so they both have five shots and the one that's been restocked will remove the effect. So I'm expecting that one of them will remove the synthesizing effect. And of course we'll also restock these down here, but I'm expecting that the one that still has five shots is going to keep the effect. So let's try to restock ammo. Let's go back and have a look. And indeed you can see the one that where we fired off a shot um, lost the effect, but the one where we kept the full clip still have the effect. So that means that if you're very careful when you dock, make sure that your PAs are fully loaded. When you dock, you can restock, you can restock shield cell banks and multi cannon ammo and everything without losing the effect. So you just need to be careful once you do it. And that's pretty much all there's to it. This works on plasma accelerators and on railguns because they're the only one that has the plasma slug special modification. Um, but anyway, I really hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a like down below, consider subscribing to the channel, or maybe even becoming a Patreon if you want to support the channel more directly. Thanks a lot for watching guys, and until next time, I will see you guys in space.